Uh, hello guys in this video I'm going to uh, talk about some options in the bioedit which are very useful for the editing sequence during editing process you might uh, want to manipulate the sequences by adding uh, some extra bases or deleting or uh, you want to drag the sequences around in on the screen I what I have is aligned sequences which I downloaded from um, NCBI so you can see that they are pretty well aligned and you can highlight them uh, by pressing this uh, shade identities and similarities in alignment window button what it does actually it uh, colors the background of each basis of particular color so A's are colored in the green, T's are in the red, C in the blue and G in the black uh, the most e use uh, of this function is when you are trying to look for the mismatches and it, as you can see if any column which has a uh, mismatch that's not going to be uh, shaded that way it's much easier to uh, pinpoint where the mismatches are in the sequence alignment as you can see these examples uh, you can see here all the uh, columns mostly they have CA but in the middle it has GG so it didn't highlight that column uh, right now the sh uh, shade threshold is 100% uh, which means that it is going to highlight when every base in that column is actually 100% exactly same if there is a single base difference it is not going to highlight that column you can change this value from uh, 0 to 100 anywhere suppose let's go and change it to 60% uh, so if you have noticed that now it is going to highlight all the uh, bases which are common in that column and it won't highlight the base which is uh, different so this way actually it's much easier to uh, pinpoint the base which is different from other sequences and it's very useful while you are looking for mutations in sequences or looking for your sequencing errors one of the other uh, method to pinpoint the mismatches is instead of shading you can uh, unshade it by clicking this normal view mode and you can uh, use this uh, view conservation button what it does actually it just converts every base which is exactly same in that column uh, based on the first sequence on the alignment it will convert them to dots so dot means that uh, any the base at that position is exactly same as the top one so all these dots me uh, means they are G's but any base which is different from uh, the top sequence it is going to be uh, printed as a base so for example if you see in this column the top uh, sequence has C while this sequence here has G in it so this sequence is going to uh, instead of dot it's going to put that base there and this also allows you to pinpoint the mm, sequencing errors or sequence mismatches in the alignment you can use uh, any of uh, the method whichever uh, suits you or in whichever you feel comfortable the first one is highlighting the background and the second is uh, by uh, converting the identity as dots sometimes during uh, alignment you need to add gaps in sequences and by edit just gives you a way to add or delete uh, gaps just by using your right click so what you have to do is from here they have few options one is like insert gap option delete gap option insert gap in all other sequences and delete gap in all the sequences so let's try this one insert gap with right mouse click and you go and uh, right click from your mouse on any sequence and it is going to add one uh, gap after the base which you have clicked you can do this for all the sequences one by one or other option is uh, you can select this option which uh, actually what it does is going to add a uh, gap in other sequences which uh, is not the one you click so let's uh, try this one if we click here and it is going to add uh, gaps on every sequences other than the one you clicked so this is also very useful uh, to add gaps in alignment let's add one here so the alignment doesn't get messed up uh, the same way you can delete gaps if you doesn't uh, by mistake you added extra gaps or there is a gap which you think should not be there you can uh, press this uh, delete gaps button and then right click on the sequences and right clicking is going to 
delete the gap on that position or you can also use uh, delete gaps in all other sequences so if you click a sequence it is going to delete the gaps in all other sequences other than the one you click at some point uh, there you might want to actually delete a region in the alignment sometimes when you are trying to find a conserved region and there are a lot of uh, areas which are not conserved at all or you don't want that area in your alignment uh, you can do that uh, by selecting the sequence and deleting it but before that you have to change the mode uh, to the edit mode otherwise uh, it won't let you delete anything in the sequence so once you get this mode selected to edit you can select a reason which you want to delete and just press delete on your uh, keyboard and that's going to uh, delete the alignment region which is selected in the same edit mode uh, you can also change bases uh, in the sequence on in the alignment so you have two options here one is overwrite mode and one is insert mode in the overwrite mode what happens is that when you press any base it is going to overwrite the uh, base next to the cursor so right now in this uh, sequence right after cursor there is a A and if I press T it is going to replace that A with T if I press C it is going to replace the G with C in the, in the same manner it is going to keep replacing the next one but sometimes you just want to insert the sequence instead of overwriting it then you have to go and select the insert mode in the edit and now I'm going to press G and if you see it inserted G in between these two C's and shifted the sequence one base sometimes uh, you want to uh, copy the reverse complement of the sequence especially when you are designing primers and for forward primers normally you prefer to uh, copy a sequence you select a area and you can go and say edit and copy and this way you will get that sequence copied in in the clipboard so let me uh, paste it from the import from the clipboard and that way you can see I copied this sequence TACG TACG and end set ACG ACG but, uh, sometimes you'd want to design a reverse primer in that case you need a reverse complement of this sequence so what you can do you can select the area which you want to copy go to edit and say use uh, copy reverse complement and what it is going to do is that I copy this area and reverse complement it and then put in your clipboard let's uh, import it from the clipboard and see what it copied and as you can see now this time the sequence it I imported from the clipboard is the reverse complement of the sequence I copied earlier so if you go from this and uh, GCA the reverse complement should be CGT and if you see it start with CGT so this the lower sequence is exactly reverse complement of the upper one which came from this selection sometimes during making changes you might want to uh, move the block of the sequence from and change the position for creating gaps or for any any other reason so you can do that by going to uh, grab and drag uh, mode and what you can do here is you can select a sequ um, sequence and when you keep your mouse clicked and try to move it it is going to move the uh, sequence ahead but uh, if you are trying to pull it back it is only going to pull the sequence which is selected not the whole sequence so sometimes if you uh, want to change the place of some uh, bases in the sequence this is a very good mode you can do that actually what you are doing is grabbing and dragging the sequences in the open space where they can move but if there is no space then it is going to push the whole sequence from its uh, place sometimes uh, you need to actually uh, after making changes now you want to move this whole sequence block instead of only this region for that you can uh, go and say uh, select this move downstream sequences as a lock block and once this is active what it is going to do is that when you uh, drag a sequence it is going to drag the whole sequence as one block but it only works for the downstream not for the upstream so these two options grab and drag and select and slide they look like they do the same function but there is a slight difference between them the grab and drag actually allows you to grab and drag a base at a time so you cannot select uh, two bases and try to move them it, it doesn't let you do that even if you try to uh, select it start moving the sequences but if you want to uh, move a block of sequence actually you have to go and select and slide there you can uh, select one sequence and then press shift 
and the start and end sequences it is going to uh, select that area and now when you are moving it is going to move that selected block in this uh, allow region so that way you can move the uh, block of a sequence instead of single base pair if you have noticed that while uh, moving um, bases around the gaps actually are uh, put by by edit in in a wavy f uh, line these lines show the gaps which are not logged yet so they can be changed once you are confirmed that you want this change you can go and press this uh, lock button what it is going to do is actually lock the gaps so from the those wavy lines it turned into uh, single dashes and that's actually you have locked the gaps now if you try to uh, select and slide it is not going to let you uh, change any sequences because you have locked the area and by locking means you are kind of telling sequences not to make any changes into the locked region so you can you can move your sequences in the allowable region but if you try to move it here it won't let you because these gaps are locked but you can still move here because these gaps are not and you can move further but it is going to push the whole sequence ahead and creates new gaps in here once you uh, unlock and lock back all the sequences are locked now you cannot move them in either of the mode so in order to make any changes you have to unlock uh, to modify the existing gaps or to insert new gaps one of the ways of finding a similarity in the alignment or mismatches in the alignment is using a monochrome uh, view so what it is going to do is actually uh, shade the columns based on the information in that column so if any column has a lot of uh, mismatches it is actually not going it is going to shade it much lighter and if you see any column which is little bit darker you will see that it has a uh, less and less number of vari variations so for example if you see this column it has T's A and all T's only two types of nucleotide so it is uh, shaded darker so I'll those bases are uh, written in that little bit darker ink while this one has a G, T, G, A, C so all four bases are there that's why it's lighter so any column which has uh, only one type of bases that will be the darkest so if you see this column it has all A's and it is much darker than this column or this column uh, you can also do the information based uh, background shading what it is going to do actually uh, shade the background in the monocolor mm -hmm. the shades of white and darkest one shows that the least uh, variation and the lightest one is the maximum number of variation in those columns by does allow you a uh, lot of different kind of copying function into uh, from the sequences and if you click that edit uh, menu you will get a list of uh, things you can do and one of the pretty important ones are copy reverse complement which is going to copy the selected sequence in the reverse complement format uh, you can paste sequences you can cut copy or delete sequences uh, this one is kind of important uh, you can select a name of a sequence and then when you click this option it is going to copy the faster format into the memory in the clipboard and you can paste it anywhere back into the bioedit or in some external programs you can also copy sequence titles if you are trying to make a list of a sequence names this is very useful you can select all the sequences and uh, just copy sequence titles and you can paste it in any external uh, program like notepad or excel sheet so you can use this option to only co copy till the first uh, bracket you can search uh, in the sequence and in the titles and it's very useful when you're trying to find a s uh, sequence name or you're trying to find a set of bases in the sequences and it has lot of different kind of options you can use for searching uh, you should actually go and try I don't want to discuss those because that will take a lot of time and they are not very complicated even their name was kind of pretty much informative you, uh, and others are the basic like select sequences revert invert title selection select to end select to beginning those kind of stuff I think I covered uh, most of the very uh, basic editing functions of bioedit and uh, those how to use those functions so thank you for watching goodbye